Hello students, welcome back to Rosy Maths class. Today I shall read out the summary of chapter number 2, Lines and Angles and this is for class 6. Textbook name is Ganit Prakash. A point determines a location. It is denoted by a capital letter. A line segment corresponds to the shortest distance between two points. The line segment joining points S and T is denoted by segment ST. So you have capital ST and on top of that you have a small line segment. A line is obtained when a line segment like ST is extended on both sides indefinitely. It is denoted by line ST. Again capital letter ST with a line on top of it that is double arrowhead or sometimes by a single small letter like M. A ray is a portion of a line starting at a point D and going in one direction indefinitely. It is denoted by ray DP, so capital DP and there is a ray on top of that where P is another point on the ray. An angle can be visualized as two rays starting from a common starting point. Two rays OP and OM form the angle, angle POM also called angle MOP. Here, O is called the vertex of the angle and the rays OP and OM are called the arms of the angle. The size of an angle is the amount of rotation or turn needed about the vertex to rotate one ray of the angle onto the other ray of the angle. The sizes of angles can be measured in degrees. One full rotation or turn is considered as 360 degrees and denoted as 360 and is a degree symbol on the right top. Degree measures of angles can be measured using a protractor. Angles can be straight that is 180 degrees, right 90 degrees, acute that is more than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees, obtuse more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees and reflex more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. So these were the points given in the summary of chapter number 2 lines and angles. Thank you.